So the, the technology that, that we have, it's called Canary, and that stands for Cellular Analysis and Notification of Antigen Risks and Yields. Um, 2006, we were approached by the Department of Defense to supply reagents to um, equipment that they had purchased from MIT and installed over in Northern Virginia. So the biodefense piece was a market that existed, customer had a need, and we were able to step into uh, space required to supply reagents for them. And we've been doing that since 2007. Our target markets are basically four. We, we're into building protection today, which we, we do for the Department of Defense. We have a lot of interest in mailroom screening, so banks, investment firms, high-profile companies that would be subject to um, bioterrorist issues, they are deploying our technology for um, incoming mail so that they can assure that it's clean going into their facility. Third area is a first responder instrument that we're working on with the Department of Homeland Security, which would be an uh, anthrax identification system that a policeman or a fireman or first responder could take to the field if there was a positive white powder someplace that they weren't sure what it was and if it was hazardous. And then the, the fourth market, which um, we're really getting a lot of interest in today, is food protection and food processing facilities. And I think the food market is probably the one where we're going to have the biggest impact just because the market is huge. There's a lot of opportunity for our technology to fit in with the Food Safety and Modernization Act, which was just passed by the U.S. Congress earlier this year. This is the BioFlash instrument, which is a biological aerosol collector and identifier. The way the instrument works is the disc is placed, placed in the instrument, the operator closes the drawer, and from here on the instrument is totally automatic. Alright, so, so now we have the instrument set up with that simulation disc and it's telling us there's an agent detected, but in the real world it would tell you you tested positive for salmonella or you tested positive for ricin.